It's time for Texarkana football on KLFI TV, featuring the Pleasant Grove Hawks, the Arkansas High Razorbacks, the Liberty Ilo Leopards, the Texas High Tigers, the Genoa Central Dragons. This is Texarkana Football, Friday night under the lights. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. BCS, Business Communication Systems. Big Cheese Pizza. Chicken Express. Domino Federal Credit Union. Domino's Pizza. Leadwell Machinery, Millway Federal Credit Union, Northern Hills Baptist Church, or Chevrolet, Paul's Pond, Red River Federal Credit Union, Reggie's Burgers, Robbins Toyota, Ross and Schulmeyer, Elder Law Attorneys, Southern Arkansas University, Texas A&M University, Texarkana, Texarkana School District, Texarkana College, Texarkana Independent School District, Tony Langford Roofing, Tri-State Technology Services. University of Arkansas Hope, Texarkana. And Wadley Regional Medical Center. Welcome here to Razorback Stadium as the Arkansas High Razorbacks entertain the D-Queen Leopards in a conference ball game here. You see the the uh, records there, one and eight for the Leopards, one and five in conference play. Razorbacks eight and one and six and zero oh in conference play. And for the Razorbacks tonight, right, they have a chance to wrap up the undisputed conference title here tonight uh, with a win. Well, the Razorbacks this year have uh, shown steady improvement all year long, and they are now a force to be reckoned with in Arkansas for a football. 5A football. 5A football. 5A football. 5A football dropped down last year from 6A to 5A. And, and at this point in time in the AP rankings in the state of Arkansas, uh, Arkansas High is number four uh, in the state. Uh, you have uh, McClellan at number, I mean, excuse me, uh, uh, Pulaski Academy at number one, uh, Harrison at number two, uh, McClellan, uh, excuse me, Little Rock Christian, number three, Arkansas High at number four. McClellan, who Arkansas High beat earlier in the year, is in second place right now in the conference. McClellan is an outstanding football team as well. They've only got one loss. And the one loss that Arkansas High has this year was to Texas High. Uh, so in Arkansas, Arkansas High has not lost a ball game this year. Uh, and uh, they obviously expect to, to win tonight, but you know you don't you don't overlook any team, uh, no. even a team that's one and eight. You have to take it one game at a time. D Queen over the last over the period of time in the last few years has had some real success, but this year is kind of what you would call a rebuilding year, Joe. That's absolutely right, and uh, you see a good shot of the band as uh, we are getting set here for action at Razorback Stadium and uh, the Leopards uh, just now taking the field there and uh, we're getting set for the opening kickoff and Arkansas High will be kicking off and that is Jance Patrick Cook who will be kicking for the Razorbacks. Not a lot of wind tonight, Joe. It was a windy day earlier today, but I'm looking at the flags and they are not moving. So the Razorbacks uh, 
kicking off from the left side of your screen to the right. For those of you who may be watching who are not familiar with our local Texarkana teams, the Razorbacks, of course, in red and white. The queen with the white tops and the black pants. As we are about set here for this opening kickoff from Razorback Stadium. Kick going to be down to the eight yard line, taken at that point. And that is Harp. Oh, and he is turned man. Hit hard at the 15 yard line, Joe. Really buried under a slew of Razorbacks. Hard. That was Hayden Harp, the return man. So the Razorback defense up first here, Joe. Uh, what kind of offense can they expect to see out of DeQueen? Well, DeQueen is going to run the spread, as, as most teams are, are running from some form of the spread uh, this year. Uh, and we'll see them do just that uh, with the... Uh, quarterback in the shot. Well, actually, he's going to go get under center here. Yeah, so this gonna, is a traditional eye yeah, formation. They're in the eye formation here. Full back to the gets the carry for about four yards, Joe. And let's see. That is number 44, no, the ball right, carrier. That's, that's Adrian Mendoza, six Pick foot, up, 235 down, senior down, six, at fullback the for turn. the Leopards. And he They'll say, yes, he got four yards there on first down. Ball at the 20-yard line. It'll be second down and six. Whistle's going to stop play here. Going to be a false start. So that will give up those four yards they earned so, so well on the first play. It's going to bring up second down and 11, Joe. Leopard's getting the play in. And once again, Carver will go under center with an eye formation look. One split into either side. He's going to hand off to the tailback, and he's trying to turn the right corner, but the Razorback defense stops him after a very short gain. We'll call it one yard. It's going to bring up third and ten, so a tough uh, third down chore here for the D Queen Leopards deep in their own territory. They're going to have to be very careful not to turn the ball over. Arkansas High Razorbacks are, are very, very good at uh, intercepting that ball. to pass, looking deep. He's got well covered and it will be intercepted. And Razorbacks, that is number five for the Razorbacks, that's the Jordan Mask. And he is all the way back and going into the end zone. And it's gonna be a pick six for the Razorbacks. They strike first on the interception return. The Jordan Mask on the interception return. Razorbacks on the scoreboard first here. 9.59 to play here in the first quarter. So Cook getting ready to attempt the extra point. And Ray, that is the eighth game this year out of 10 that the Razorbacks have either scored a special teams or a defensive touchdown. And again, uh, that's the, the reason you do not want to get in third and long, especially you don't want to do that deep in your own territory. Kick is up and good. 7-0 our score. We'll be back after this. More than just a bank, more than just a credit union, your home and your way of life is Red River. Red River Credit Union has continued to expand and set new standards over the last 75 years. Your life needs simplicity. We get it. That's why we're always developing products and services to get you the life you deserve. Quick, 
safe, secure. Red River Credit Union exists to serve you. Back here at Razorback Stadium, 7-0 our score. And Ray, you, you nailed it. You're getting third and long against this Razorback defense. They've got so much quickness, so much speed that uh, it's, it's, you know, it's going to turn into some points for the defense as we saw right there. A absolutely, Joe. And we'll see if the Leopards can get the ball out a little further this time and uh, perhaps uh, get a little more on first and second down to where they don't end up with a third and long. Razorback's going to get their kickoff team on the field again here as Cook awaits the rest of the team. And you know, when you look at these two teams on the season, uh, the, the Queen Leopards averaging 14 points per game, giving up 36 defensively. Arkansas High, it's just pretty much the opposite. Scoring 37 points per game, only giving up 18. So uh, for the Queen, they would have to play an air-free ball game here tonight, and of course they can't do that now. Kickoff's going to go out of bounds, though, so that'll give the Queen excellent field position here on their second possession. Kick out of bounds. And it, it, I think we, when we notice Arkansas High playing defense, uh, again, great speed, great quickness, but the Queen does not throw the ball very much. It looks like from you know in the eye formation and all that. Uh, so. I suspect we're going to see the safeties coming a little bit closer, a little bit closer here to the line of scrimmage. And if the Queen cannot effectively throw the football, it's going to be very, very tough all night long. I agree, Joe. And when you're in the I formation, that it is really designed more for play action passing. And so you have to have a a solid running game that puts you in the position where the safeties have started get, coming up and helping out on the run. If you can't do that, then what's going to happen is uh, is you're going to be in a position where if you're starting out under center and you're having to drop back to get in position to pass, that's that, that much quicker the defense is going to get to you. So the Leopards will start at their own 35 this time. Better field position than their first pos possession they had, which uh, started at the 15 or the 16 yard line. Again, eye formation look here. And the football off no to gain the at all this fullback, time. Mendoza. We're going to give him the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And right here, we can call it the Mendoza. Right, you know, uh, a traditional eye formation team, if you cannot establish the fullback, it's going to be a long night for you. Absolutely, and, and that's the I, the I formation is built uh, on off tackle lead block lead uh, lead plays where the fullback kicks out on the defensive end. No fullback this time. And it off on kind of a little end of round here. That's number three, Mac Carver. Mac Carver on the carry. Demetrius Charles with the tackle. Pick up a five on the play. We'll bring up third down five. We'll be waiting at the 40 yard line. Third and five here for the Leopards. Probably right their best, one of their best plays right there, that kind of a little uh, end of round type thing there with the. Uh, Handed off to the wide receiver. So third and five here. Handed off to the tailback, and he's going to lose yardage. Lots of yards. Yep, and uh, that's Marquez Esther. They're going to give him a very favorable spot as far as forward progress, Joe. Uh, they're going to give him the last time before he turned back and started running further back. Yeah, uh, that, that was a... That was a very nice spot for him. There's Tory Blair, first man there, and a host of other Razorbacks. But uh, you know, you can see here early on this ball game that uh, the Queen has had its struggles, uh, especially offensively, when you're only scoring 14 points a ball game. The snap pressure up the middle gets it away though. 
and go out of bounds at the 36 yard line. So uh, the Jordan Mask not going to get an opportunity to return it, which is that's probably very smart. Yeah, that's, 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 smart that's, not right a bad, that's not a bad punt. You give them no a chance to return it. You gain about 26, 27 yards of field position, maybe. So the Razorback offense will make its first appearance of the night tonight. And uh, it's uh, really nice when you come out on offense for the first time and you're already up 7-0 thanks to your defense. Takes a little bit of pressure off there. And of course, uh, the the Razorbacks are going to be missing Aracia Price, their top receiver, uh, who is out with an injury. Four back in the shotgun, back to pass. Pass is going to be over the head of Browning, the intended receiver. Came up limping there. Marquez Esther coming in was ready to make the tackle if the ball had been caught. And so second down, 10 now for the Razorbacks. Cameron Collier is the tailback. Single coverage all the way out on the on the both wide receivers, but he goes up the middle with number 21. That's Collier with a carry and Mendoza on the tackle for the Leopards on a gain of we'll say a yard and a half maybe. And uh, one of the linemen shaking up there, you see number 87, uh, Malik Beasley for the Leopards, but he's going to stay in the ball game. It definitely looks like he twisted an ankle up. He is a big defensive lineman, is Beasley. Goes 6'3", 275. Tough, tough job here with, with his ankle being hurt. Third down, and we'll call it eight here. As four backs back to pass. Got plenty of time. Got a man open and dropped over there by DeJordan Mask. Would have had the first down. Uh, now, in his defense, it was low. Had to go down mm -hmm. for it. Mask already with a touchdown tonight on the interception return, so he's already having a good night, but we, I know he wanted to make that catch. All right, so fourth and eight here for the Razorbacks, and the trainers are out to... That's the same yeah, defense of 87. And Joe, on the previous play, when the ball was snapped, he, couldn't, he just couldn't do anything. He couldn't try to rush the passer or anything. He, you know, he's hurting. I know he really wants to stay out there. Uh, I'm sure he's a very tough young man, but uh, he's just, he can't even hardly touch that to the ground. Yeah, looks to me maybe a knee injury there. So they definitely need to get him off and they will do that and attend to him. Hope he gets back in the ball game here. In the meantime, Drake Browning back deep for the Razorbacks to punt it away. And that is, I think, Mac Carver back deep for the Leopards, standing at his own 32-yard line. Low snap, Low he goes through the legs. Going to go through his legs, and here's the good news. Browning is a quarterback, uh, but that's not going to get out of this seven-yard line. So. Excellent field position for the Leopards. Can they take advantage, Joe? Quinshawn Bennett makes the tackle. Just nothing that uh, uh, Browning could do. Uh, that ball skips to him. We'll see here on the ADM University Texarkana replay. Um, it just did, and it took a bad bounce, just, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's one of those, like a shortstop, but, but it hit a rock or something. But uh, He tries and tries, Joe, but there's just too many Leopards yeah. around him. Nothing he could do right there. So great field position here for the Leopards as they'll start at the seven yard line of the Razorbacks. And let's see what the Razorback defense can do right here. Joe, I, I got a feeling D Queen's going to try a little play action pass here. And they've got two receivers over here on the right, and I think they're going to cross them and throw to the corner. Yeah, we got a little spread look here, man in motion. And oh. he'll fake it. And well, this that was a disconnection there. The quarterback thought he was going to hand it to. Uh, to Matt, uh, Matt Carver, but yeah, Larry Jefferson makes the tackle. So there was some miscommunication there, and that is definitely not what you want to do when you get a first and goal to seven. You don't want to lose four yards on first down for sure. No, and, and uh, 
That was a definitive tackle, let me tell you. There, there was no doubt yeah. that he was down as soon as he was hit. Now, if you're if you're DeQueen, you only scoring 14 points a game. You get great field position here inside the Razorback 10, now at the 11. He got any kind of razzle-dazzle plays. Now's the time to pull it out. This is probably your best opportunity to score got right three here. Three receivers to the right. Leopard's going to call a timeout, talk about it, and we'll take a break as well. In 2012, I introduced you to Reggie's Burgers, Dogs, and Fries. Since then, you have voted us best burger over a dozen times. Here's our new second location on State Line with a convenient drive-thru. In a private party room, come see us at either location. Without the right planning and guidance, long-term care such as skilled nursing, guardianship, and probate can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You didn't come this far to lose your home, life savings, and independence. The experienced attorneys at Ross and Schollmeyer can protect you and your family. From Medicaid, veterans' benefits for long-term care, wills, trusts, and powers of attorney, the elder law attorneys of Ross and Schollmeyer partner with you and help you leave a legacy that your family will cherish. Call Ross and Schollmeyer elder law attorneys or visit them at rossandschollmeyer.com today. Back here at Razorback Stadium. Second and goal here for the Leopards. And the Leopards probably wisely there talking. I want to talk about this thing right here again because this is a golden opportunity for a team that only averages 14 points per ball game. And Joe, what I think they're talking about is we've basically already stated that D Queen Leopards are not a team that likes to throw the ball. And I think that they are knowing they're going to have to throw the ball and trying to just work out and make sure everybody understands what they're going for. And I'm still looking for the corner throw for that receiver that's in the slot. Quarterback's going to roll gonna go out here, going to go toward the end zone, and it is going to be broken up by Jordan Mask. And uh, Williamson's throw broken up. And well, he had a man open, but he waited a little too long to throw the football. A little too long to throw it, and the ball didn't have a lot of zip yeah, on it, and the defense had plenty of time to get in there and make the play. And, and there we see why they don't throw the football very often. Uh, you know, they, they struggle with that for sure. The third and goal here for the Leopards at the 11 of the Razorbacks. Nobody back to help block. Williamson, the lone man back there in the backfield. The Razorbacks bring pressure. Here comes the pressure. Williamson's just going to have to get rid of it, and it's broken up. Almost intercepted. The ball is batted by number seven, Jalen Bead, and to break it up. And then Razorback number 10 almost plucked it before it hit the ground. That was Demetrius Charles who almost came up with it. So the Razorback defense is going to force a fourth down situation. It looks like D. Queen's going to try to kick a field goal. <laughs> And this will be a 28-yard attempt, looks like. Although there's some discussion as the play clock down to 14. Oh, because uh, they had the player that went out with the injury. Okay. So they had to get that backup player in there, and there's always that kind of confusion. And on for the, the uh, so they, they're going to have to call a timeout, Joe, because they were running out of time on the play clock. Timeout on the field. Timeout. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. I love it. That's the response you'll receive when giving a personalized gift from the Baptist Bookstore. Create a personal gift in minutes using the My Media Burn Bar and Artsy Olive personalized art signs. Let the friendly staff guide you through the easy process of creating a gift that will be cherished for a lifetime. The Baptist Bookstore also has the largest selection of Bibles in the Arklatex. Purchase a Bible and we'll personalize it with free engraving. The Baptist Bookstore, 4605 North State Line Avenue in Texas.
Edward Garcia with the 28-yard field goal for the Leopards. So the Leopards on the scoreboard here, seven to three, our new score. And we'll be back right after this. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low-cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. Five twenty-seven to play here in the first quarter. Seven to three, our score. You see the Ralston Schulmeyer Elder Law uh, Attorneys LLP. So uh, thanks to them uh, for their sponsorship of the school board. There you see the band members uh, entertaining the crowd here. Fired up here, and uh, also want to thank uh, Texas a and Texture Cannon for the replays throughout the night and at halftime University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana our halftime sponsor all the other fine sponsors go by this week tell them you appreciate their sponsorship of Texarkana football the first kickoff we've seen out of the Leopards could be an onside kick and it's very nice and, it, and the Leopards have a shot at it still loose I think the Leopards got it Ball at the 43-yard line, a scramble, and the Leopards do come up with it. And that is Jorge Soto who comes up with the football. And Joe, the, uh, you know, they just, they're going for broke. We'll look, we'll look here at the replay. It took a very high bounce and a scramble for it. I mean, it's all over the place uh, before we'll see. Soto. Uh, Soto comes up with it. But Joe, well, when, you know, you're, you're one and eight. eight. Yeah. You're one and eight, and you're playing uh, one of the highest ranked teams in the state. Uh, you, you know that you, you've got to take all kind of chances. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have nothing to lose. You know, you're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, this is kind of your playoffs right here. If you can knock off one of the, the big boys in the conference and in the state of Arkansas. So, really, they're, you know, they're just going to try to do whatever they can to win this ball game. Back to the eye formation look with uh, the fullback, and that is Cade Martin. He grabs ball about carrier. six yards on that play, Joe. New fullback in there for the Leopards. Very nice run straight up the middle. And that's what we were talking about earlier. If you're going to run the eye formation, not only is your uh, fullback going to have to kick out and block, but you need to be able to make some positive yards when the fullback runs the absolutely, football. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and uh, that, that's a very positive game right there. Quarterback's going to keep it. And Williamson's going to have the first down as he's driven out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So right now, D. Clean's mixing it up, and uh, they're starting to get their legs under him here. And you know, uh, Queen last week, even though they lost to Magnolia, uh, they put some points on the board. I believe they got beat like 42-29 or something like that. Uh, so uh, there's been some steady improvement throughout the year. Uh, you know, it's just not showing up as far as the record is concerned, but they've gotten better throughout the year. Pull back up the middle, but nowhere to go this time. Fighting, but uh, not going to get anything this time. Is the interior of the line going to make the tackle for the Razorbacks? Uh, A.C. Williams the third at the bottom of that pile, along with several other Razorbacks. Uh, so they'll say no gain here on the play to bring up second down and 10. Also in on the, the uh, tackle there, Draylon Marine for the Razorbacks. We're down to four minutes to play here in the first quarter. 7-3 lead for the Razorbacks. Quick toss. Tall, tall sweep here to no Esther. To and, Esther and there is a flag down, Joe. Esther bottled up, maybe got a yard. And we'll see what the flag's all about. Typically in the area of holding right there. Yeah, there's. And that's it. Razorbacks can make it third and 10 or second and 
20. I think you're going to go second and 20 right here. Well, now they're going to decline it. Okay, so they'll keep it third right. and 10. And, uh, I, you know, I watched uh, their field goal kicker, Garcia, warm up before the game. Uh, he, he not anywhere near a field goal range, I don't think, at this point. Uh, yeah, you'd be looking at a 49-yard yeah, field he's goal. Gonna right have to, they're they're going to have to get down around the 23, 24-yard line, somewhere in there to maybe be in his range. Williamson, again, the lone back. Little uh, oh, end around is going to be knocked ground. down. I think the Razorbacks have the ball. And they do. Razorbacks come up with it. That was Trey Cleveland who got a hand on the football here. Ray, uh, it, it's not going to work very well. We'll see here on the replay. When you're trying to do this, yeah. it wasn't Cleveland. It was, uh, let's see. Number eight. There. Number 19. Oh, 19 for the Razorbacks. Yeah, uh, Larry Jefferson got a hand on it. Uh, when you're trying to do a little dazzle stuff like here, and the defense is in the backfield, it's tough. Yeah, and when you're running that reverse, Joe, and you're not handing it directly to the man, you're supposed to just sort of lay it out there in front of him and let him run through it. But instead, the uh, end that was running, uh, was the first one to get the ball, just pitched it straight at the chest of the man coming yeah. the opposite way, and it bounced right off. Looks it. like something they either haven't done very much or they just put that in. Pass is going to be complete to 49. Now they're going to have to trouble Jordan tackling Mask. him. And Mask has He's got gone, great Joe. speed. And this will be a touchdown, the second of the ball game for the Jordan Mask. This one, 57 yards and the score. And, and there, there and you see the difference. When the Razorbacks get out, we'll see here in, in, uh, in our replay, uh, when the Razorbacks get out in open space, there is no way that uh, two good they can, moves. One they can right be there in the middle, cuts up. Now he does it again. It's a nice block there. And that's it. Turns on the Jets, and nobody's catching him now. Just too much speed for the Leopards here as uh, Cook on for the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. 14 to 3, our new score here with 307 to play. We'll be back after this. I sold my dream house to buy my first Domino's store. I built my store with my bare hands. I use my college savings to buy my store. It means everything to me. But we've decided to tear them down. We love what we do, but not where we do it. Come and see our remodeled stores when you carry out large three-topping pizzas for $7.99 each every day. Mommy, what are you doing? We've been playing this game called Fortnite probably for six hours. Y'all have any wins yet? Not yet. It's awful hard. Kind of like how buying a car used to be but not at Or Chevrolet, where our computers survey the market every hour and price ours less than the competition. So for a great no-hassle buying experience and a good deal, you get more at Or. Surf or Chevy. Dot com. Caught you looking. 14 to three, our new scorer here at Razorback Stadium has the Jordan Mask with both scores here in the first quarter for the Razorbacks. Cook to boot it away, going to be gathered in at the six yard line. And going to get to about the 20 yard line. And that's it. And Joe, I, I kind of like that. He took the ball straight ahead and got the most yards he could get. There was no, there was no opening where he could scoot through it and turn it into a big return, but he got the yards he could get. AC Williams the third on the tackle, but I think the Queen realizes right here, Ray, that they're, they're not going to be able to outrun Arkansas High. And so you're, you're, you're exactly right. The best thing for them to do right there is just turn it up north and south, get as much as you can, because uh, there, there's no way they're going to be able to get out wide on the Razorbacks. So back into the I formation. Oh, 
Williamson back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Williams going to be sacked at the 10 yard line. Just did not have time to do anything with the football. No, and Joe, really the only from under center like that, uh, he's down and he's not getting up. Well, they do help him up. Here's a replay right here. And again, three Razorbacks there uh, led by Larry Jefferson. But as you say, Ray, coming out from under center, no. uh, you just do not have an opportunity to do anything. A three-step drop is all they're going to be able to do, and that's going to require receivers running very quick slants, the little wide receiver screen type plays. Uh, they're not going to be able to send somebody 30 yards down the field and try to throw the ball to them. Second down and 21 here for the Leopards. Good cut back there, but uh, going to get about we'll say three yards. Maybe and this is the situation we talked about. They don't want to be in third down and about 18 yards yeah. to go. If if you're the Leopards, you're better off just handing to the fullback or let the quarterback keep it. Uh, you know, a, a little quarterback keeper like we saw earlier, and, and trying to get two, three, four yards at a time. Yeah, the two traditional third and long plays, really long for the I formation are going to be a screen and a draw. And they're not even lining up uh, as if they're going to throw either one. Williamson back to pass. It's going to have pressure. Gets away from it. Just throws it up. Going to be intercepted. And that is no. It hits the ground. Incomplete to Jordan Mask with the attempt. And the quarterback there, Williamson, getting a lot of pressure from Larry Jefferson. And maybe he he had to throw that off his back foot because there's no way he can step into it. No, and, and the ball I was very fortunate for DeQueen that it wasn't intercepted. But now the DeQueen punt team will be on the field. And again, the Jordan mask back deep. And if you're the Leopards, you did not want to punt it to him. This is Matt Carver back to punt for the Leopards. And a low line drive. It's going to be picked up at the 49 of the Leopards by the Jordan mask. Oh. And no. they're going to get him down. Uh, yeah. Only a, a three yard return for mask as uh, Dane Parson makes the tackle for the Leopards. And Honorio Dominguez, the kicker, was actually in there too, Joe, and he was one of the ones that uh, that uh, kept him from, he wanted to return left, and when he started that direction, there was a player there that forced him to try to turn it back and uh, broke up the Razorback return plan. All right, so first and 10 here for the Razorbacks. Ball at the 47 of the Leopards. 113 to play here in the first quarter. So there's nobody in the middle of the field. A little end of round to Browning. And uh, Browning is still on his feet. Going to be tackled at about the 29. Did a good job there using his blockers. Got a few more yards. Look here at the AM Texture Cannon replay. And that's the same play that, that D Queen tried to run on the other end and fumbled the ball. Yeah. Very nicely executed there by the Razorbacks for the first down. The ball at the 30 yard line here, first and 10. Collier with the All hand kinds off. of running room. Collier on that left side has got the first down and Moore still on his feet. Oh, he runs and through a tackle. Runs over a man for the touchdown. Just just runs right through his the, the last tackler there at the five yard line. So a 30 yard. Oh well, there's a hold. We didn't see the flag, but there is the official. And you know you were talking about how much room there was on the left side that there. May that may be that, why. That, I think that's what it was. The defensive end got held. And. Uh, but a great run by Collier as he lowered his shoulder, ran over one of the uh, defensive backs, but uh, going to come back. And so they'll mark it at the 44. So flag thrown at the 34. So uh, in effect, a 14-yard penalty here. Yep, uh, the hold was, uh, hold was apparently in the backfield. It may have been the defensive end coming up field and being held. So it'll be first and 24 for the Razorbacks. Single coverage on the end on the left. 
quarterback back to pass. Here comes some pressure, steps into the throw. He's got Browning there. Browning's going to catch it at the 13-yard line and have the first down. It's a little underthrown to see here on the replay, but Browning does a nice job, Ray, of adjusting to this football. He sees it's uh, it's actually thrown in the wrong shoulder, and he cut, turns around, and but the defensive back loses the football. Yep, lost track of it, Joe. First and ten, so first and ten for the Razorbacks. No trouble picking up that first and 24. They'll mark it at the 12-yard line. Down to 20 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Fullback back to pass is going to overthrow uh, Browning, the intended receiver, in the corner of the end zone. So Joe will stop with 14 seconds. I think they had that plan, that particular throw to that particular receiver from the very beginning because he was double covered all yeah. the way. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That was uh, that was already planned. And and the the good thing that Sean Forback did right there, uh, Ray, is he threw the ball where only his receiver was going to, and if anybody else caught it, it was going to be out of the end zone, which it was. Collier, the ball carrier, oh, kind of be tripped up. up at the 10-yard li line. Nice job over there by Caden Martin. He was breaking into that open field to get that and next seven or eight yards, yards, and just uh, down, the defender down. reached out with one hand and got him by one foot. Take a look here. Texture can out replay right and here. here. Collier is oh, just going to be right here. Just barely gets a hand on him. That's going to end the first quarter here at Razorback Stadium. 14 to 3 on score back after this. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal House lender you can choose from a few Bibles at other stores, at other stores. or at the Baptist Bookstore, choose from the largest selection of Bibles in the Arklatex. Largest selection in the Arklatex. From study Bibles, study Bibles large, print, large print, children, children teen, teen, and devotional, and Bibles. devotional Bibles, we, we have, them all. have them all. Plus, free engraving on every Bible purchased at the Baptist Bookstore. We have the answers you're looking for. In 2012, I introduced you to Reggie's Burgers, Dogs, and Fries. Since then, you have voted us Best Burger over a dozen times. Here's our new second location on State Line with a convenient drive-thru. And a private party room. Come see us at either location. Um, if there is a flag down. Browning comes up with a reception. I think there's movement on this left side. And the umpire getting the uh, we're gonna call an eligible receiver is that what an that eligible is? receiver downfield all right a lineman must have drifted down the field on the play yeah uh that's the only thing i can think of so third and about yeah we'll call it 13. Razorbacks can get a first down inside the two yard line. Yeah. See what they come up with this time. I'm not sure. I just don't hand it off to Collier and uh, see if he can get that corner. Four back back to pass, going for the little fade pattern there to mask, and it is yes. touchdown. Catches the ball, Joe, and, and that's just not fair. <laughs> Because Mask is just going to get that ball. Take a look here at the replay brought to you by Texas a and Texas Cannon. Nicely thrown ball by fullback right here. And, and the defender just goes over it. Yeah, he doesn't have a chance. And yeah, that's the third touchdown here in the first half for to Jordan Mask. All in all, a very good day for Mask so far, and we're still early in the second quarter. Is 
good. 21 to 3, our new scorer here at Razorback Field. We'll be back after this. What is the Eagle experience for me? It's fun. I love it. The Eagle experience for me, the sports is great. I made a lot of great friends. It's a big school in a small package. I study business administration. Professors are great. We're very involved in the community. My name is Michael Herrera, and I play baseball at Texas A&M Fisher County. My name is Allie, and I'm from Little Elm, Texas. I'm Danny, and I'm a senior at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. At Robbins Toyota, we are committed to your total satisfaction. Family owned and operated since 1966, Robbins Toyota is all about hometown courtesy, big city selection, volume pricing, and a whole new way of doing business. Whatever model or budget, Robbins Toyota will work with you to make sure your car buying experience is a pleasure. And our service department works on all makes and models. Robbins Toyota, Kings Highway and I-30 on Mall Drive in Nash, Texas, near Texarkana. Serving the entire Arklatex area. Shop 24-7 at RobbinsToyota.com. Cook set to kick it away for the Razorbacks. 21 to 3, our score here. Brought to you by Ross and Scholmeyer Elder Law Attorneys LLP. Kick is going to go out of bounds. And so the Leopards will have the opportunity to again start at the 35 yard line. I believe they'll take that opportunity, Joe. Oh, absolutely. So to Jordan Mask having an outstanding first half right here. Uh, an interception for a touchdown and two touchdown receptions uh, from quarterback Sean Forback. Yep, they were having high school fantasy football, Joe. He'd be the guy you want tonight. <laughs> That's for sure. First and 10 at the 35. Williamson back to pass. Oh, is knocked down. down. Williams catches it and then is dragged down. If he would have just let it hit the ground, yeah. they'd be back at the uh, 35 yeah, yard line. You gotta, I know he's worried about them catching it, but you just got to bat that thing down and, and uh, not take the loss. That's Draylon Marine who gets his hands on the football here. And watch, he gets knocked back to him and he catches it. And right now, I mean, the. Wasn't really thinking it happened so quick. But yeah. The right play would have been just knock it to the ground. Michael Johnson on the tackle, but Marine is the one that hit the football. And, you know, that's what they tell defensive linemen, right? If you can't get to the quarterback, get your, get hands, your hands up, up and knock it down. Up and that's exactly what Marine did right there. So second and 20 for the Leopards. A little tall sweep here to Esther. Picks up, pick up a few yards. Yeah, about five. five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be third and long. And again, as we talked in the opening here, uh, uh, first first series for uh, the Leopards, they're not an offense built on a third and long situation. And we have and, not uh, seen a single screen pass or a draw. And again, out of the I formation, those are your two third and ridiculously long plays. Yeah. And the idea is maybe you bust it, but if you don't bust it, you don't turn the ball over. Yeah, you cannot afford to turn it over here if you're the queen. Williamson's gonna roll out, he's gonna keep it himself. He's got a little room, but it's gonna be well short of the first down. Bring up fourth down and nine. And, and that's a nice safe play right there. Uh, yep. You know, you pick up some yardage, give your punter a little bit of room there, uh, and you, you're not in any danger of throwing away the football. Uh, you know, or fumbling it. So uh, even though it's fourth and nine, uh, you know, a, a, a very nice play for the Leopards there. The Jordan pass back deep three. Mask back deep and see if they try to punt it away from him again. Leopards don't have enough men. I'm missing somebody. Good snap, no pressure. And yep, gonna get us kick it away out, out of bounds. Or somewhere around the 41 or 40 yard line. Uh, official's gonna come back and say about the 43, I'm gonna say. No. Wow. 
46 yard line. He went for a long walk there, Joe. Yeah, he did. So a short punt. Uh, but you got to think of the alternative there. You punt that thing to Jordan Mask, and he may be sitting on four touchdowns. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, DeQueen has seen all they want to see <laughs> of, Jordan Ma of the Jordan Mask <laughs> so far tonight. And uh, Razorbacks are going to make sure they see plenty more. Well, the Razorback offense back on the field here as they take over at their own 46-yard line. Four back in the shotgun. Collier is the tailback. Collier going to go out. Hit right as he Pressure. releases the ball. And going to be a jump ball intercepted, intercepted by Mac Carver. And Joe, you got to give the credit, a lot of the credit there to the lineman there. I believe he's number 50, but I'm trying to check that. Take a look here at the replay. Let's see if we can catch a catch his number here. He hits yeah. the quarterback yeah. just as he releases the ball, and that takes something off the ball. Yeah, there's no way that the quarterback can step into it. And nicely done there by Carver going up for the interception. So the Leopards get a turnover here, get the ball back at their own 21-yard line. The first and 10 at that point. Esther in the backfield as the running back for the Leopards. Quick screen. The screen here is going to be nothing up. As uh, Ryan Vance skips the uh, gets the reception, and lose six yards. But Demetrius Charles there very quickly on the tackle. It's almost like uh, Rage Bank defense has scouted that play. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and again, that is not the screen, the traditional screen that I'm, I'm talking about. The screen where your offensive line releases their men after about two seconds. It just takes about two steps to the right, and the running back curls up under him, and they throw the ball to him with three lead blockers. Williamson back to pass here. He's setting there's up a, that there's screen. A screen. And this is Esther. Going to get a few yards. The blockers were all escorting him down the field, but nobody turned to either side to stop anybody from coming in from the side. Demetrius Charles again on the tackle, along with A.C. Williams, the third. And uh, Trey Cleveland, I think, also in there. But, uh, you know, they got some positive yards. They yeah. picked up about six. So it's going to be third and nine. One of their better offensive plays here. This yeah, evening. in fact, if, if, the off, if the linemen would have with at least one of them turned to the inside and blocked the men coming from the inside. That could have been a much bigger game. Williamson back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And it's going to be incomplete. Almost, Almost picked off by A.C. Williams the third. Had an opportunity there. It's pretty low. Fourth down coming up. So the deep clean punting unit coming out. I think this is the fourth punt of the first half. Uh, fourth or fifth. Kind of lost count here. I left my abacus in the car, so. <laughs> so so that's uh, Carver back deep. deep to punt. Only one punt has had a chance to be returned, and it actually bounced and, and just took a very favorable bounce for the Razorbacks. And this one is going to be a long line drive, going to be picked up at the 33. And that's DeJordan Mask with the ball. And uh, Mass going to be dropped at the 33. And that's number 50 again. He's the same uh, Kobe Cowley. Same player that caused the, uh, the hit on the quarterback that led to the interception. Apparently there's a flag down somewhere. Yep, it's at the 32 on the leopard side of the field. Here's the replay brought to you by Texas A&M University, Texas Cannon. And uh, Matt's going to pick it up. He's going to run a long ways, but he's not going to get any on the return because uh, Kobe Cowley did a nice job there. And it was in section A or B is where it was apparently lost on the Arkansas high side. If this sounds like your curfews, we have it on the press box. So the penalty going to go against the Razorbacks. The officials 
get a new football in. They're going to march it back 15 yards. I never did see the, the call. I guess it's personal foul. Well, it looked like there was a block in the back on the return right in front of where he was tackled, and that may be what okay, it was. Okay, yeah. All right. So, yeah, they went back 10 yards, so that's that's probably what it was. So the Razorbacks will start first and 10 at their 23-yard line, 8-16 to play here in the first half. Handed off to Cameron Collier, breaks the tackle, the line of scrimmage still on his feet, he's, and Collier he's gone, is going to score. Seventy-six yard scamper for Cameron Collier. Got touched right at the line of scrimmage, broke a tackle. That's it. And then you'll see here the replay. After he breaks his tackle right here at the line of scrimmage, right here, nobody else is going to touch him. And Joe, he accelerates away. And there again, you see the great speed that the Razorbacks possess, uh, and the Leopards just they just don't have any way to catch him. Normally in the wild you see leopards catch Razorbacks, but not tonight. Sometimes they don't want to catch them, Joe. <laughs> Razorbacks are very dangerous. Yes, they are. Good snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. 28 to three, our new score. We'll be back after this. When Domino's is out for delivery, use Domino's new dinner bell to get the family home. You're never going to use this anyway. I got to go. Ring the dinner bell and they'll come running for their mix and match favorites. Choose any two or more like bread twists, specialty chicken, pizza, or salads for only $5.99 each. 28 to 3 here at Razorback Stadium. As uh, Patrick Cook getting a workout here tonight, uh, kicking off for the Razorbacks. Joe, I imagine they're going to have to ice his foot after the game. Yeah. 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 And I suspect, Ray. Um, in the second half, we're going to see a lot of uh, young guys uh, for the Razorbacks try to get uh, the starters some rest, uh, getting ready for the uh, first round of the playoffs next week. Very high kick, going to be gathered in at the 26-yard line and uh, back to the 35. And that is Jorge Vega. So the Leopards will start there at the 35. Re reasonable starting position, Joe. And, and you know, the, the, frankly, the Leopards have just not been able to put anything together. Um, I'm trying to think, have they gotten a first down here in the first half? No, um, I don't believe they have. I don't think they've gotten a first down, Joe. They've, they've gotten a big turnover. They got a turnover to seven. Good news uh, is big number 87, Malik Beasley, is back in for DeQueen. He's the one who was hurt, had his foot hurt earlier and had to go, had to leave the game. Adrian Mendoza, the ball carrier, and he's quite a load. He goes six foot 235. And that time they lined him up at uh, tailback and handed it to him. There you see him there, your screen, number 44. But only a yard gain. I think uh, we're actually seeing some younger guys in there right now for the Razorback defense. And the football again, again to, I think it's Mendoza, again the ball carrier, it is. And on the tackle is uh, Demetrius Charles II. Picks up about two yards. Going to make it third and seven. We're at uh, 6.50 to play here in the first half. 28 to three for the Razorbacks. Pretty much what we thought coming in tonight. You know, you, you hate to compare records, but just look at it. You know, points and the way the season's gone for both teams. It pretty much looked like the Razorbacks should roll here tonight. 
Intercepted. Passes, In almost intercepted. Bounces up, okay. Tyree Black broke it up. Uh, it was intended over there for Hayden Hart. We'll see here on the replay brought to you by Texas A&M University, Texarkana. Uh, a nicely thrown ball, but uh, Tyree Black does a nice job there get, getting there uh, at yep. the same time as the football. Just a quick five-step drop, and you notice they're, they're trying to get rid of the ball a little Matt quicker Carver. now. Matt Carver back deep to punt. And again, the Jordan mask back there. Here comes the pressure. They get a hand on it. it this time and uh, get a partial block. And, no, they cannot, uh, no, can't they advance, cannot it. advance it. This it's is Razorback's block. ball where, where the D Queen player touched it. As Larry Jefferson, I think, who got a hand on it. There were three Razorbacks that back there. And I think it was Jefferson that got his hand on it. And that's uh, whenever a ball is, let's see right here on the replay, uh, pressure coming straight up the middle. And no, it's actually Trey Cleveland got his hand on it, number 20. So yeah, you're not able to advance the football. So wherever the ball uh, lands right there, wherever the Queen player touched it, uh, that's where it's going to be downed. That's right. And yeah, he touched it at the 43 yard line. That was Beasley who picked it up, but not able to advance it. So officials bring it back to that spot. So the Razorbacks with a good field position. You know, and I thought here in the first half, uh, the Razorbacks, if they had tried to block a punt, uh, they, they could have. And uh, you, there you see them uh, get a hand on the football there. Great shots you just saw of head coach and athletic director Barry Norton here having an outstanding season here for the Razorbacks. His team on the Single way to the coverage. playoffs. That's going to be a touchdown. Be a it's number three touchdown. for the Razorbacks. That is Tory Blair who comes up with it. And uh, that is a play of 43 yards here for the Razorbacks. So that's three touchdown passes here in the first half for Sean Forback. So Razorbacks hitting on all cylinders now. The only interception they had was uh, the only interception they had was when the D Queen lineman hit the quarterback as he released the ball and caused it to be underthrown earlier in the game. So looking good here for the passing game with the Razorbacks. Cook on to attempt the point after. Snap behind the holder. Good job of getting it down. Kick is good. 35 to 3, our new score. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. So 35 to 3, the new score here at Razorback Stadium. And uh, uh, the Jordan Mask, not the only Razorback going to score tonight as uh, Tory Blair gets on, on in on the scoring. Beautifully thrown ball, Joe. But yeah. They're, they're just, uh, D Queen's given single coverage. And if they try to do double coverage, what's happening is then the Razorbacks just run the ball up the middle. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, you know, I hate to keep harping on the fact that the Razorbacks have great speed, but they do. You just see the receiver run by uh, the defensive back there. Uh, and so it's, it's one of those things with the Razorback offense where you pick your poison. You can put eight, nine guys in the box and then they can throw it unbelievably well. Or you can try to go out and cover the receivers and they're just going to run the football on you. Well, if, if you can't single cover their receivers and run with them, you're going to have you're going to have a lot of problems and then you're just going to have to outscore. Kick is going to go out of bounds. And so that'll be the third time that uh, it's been kicked out of bounds. Razorbacks were trying to work a kick into the area using the kind of the sideline to help as part of your kick coverage, but just don't have that quite perfected yet. Uh, so the Leopards will start at their 35-yard line. 6-12 to play here in the first half. And uh, the only points on the scoreboard for the Leopards is when they started at the seven of the Razorbacks. And they kicked a 28-yard field goal. If you do the math there, folks, 
They kicked it from the 11 yard yeah. line, so they lost four yards on the first three plays. First and 10 here for the Leopards. That's Carver in motion. Going to hand it to him and not going to have anything there. Does well to get back to the line of scrimmage. And that's a frustrating thing for a running back when they hand you the ball and what you're looking at is a team photo of the Razorbacks defensive line. Just standing there <laughs> waiting for you. Dante Willis on the tackle first for the Razorbacks. Yeah, uh, if you're a running back for the Leopards tonight, you're pretty much just seeing a wall of red. There's just, just, just nowhere to go. Razorbacks do have a number of uh, uh, new guys in there. Oh, a beautiful play by number, looks like 10 for the Razorbacks. Demetrius Charles the second. And Joe, he just, just, he just sheds his blocker, gets up field, watch this. Throws the blocker side and, and closes so quickly that he just, Stuffs that run right there behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, also four yards, so third down and 14 for the Leopards, who just not been able to find anything offensively here tonight against this Razorback defense. And you know, the Razorback defense came in here tonight, only giving up 18 points a ball game. So uh, you know, they're they're very tough to run against, uh, and if you don't have a a very uh, good passing game, it's it's pretty tough to score on. And sprint out. And intercepted. It's going to be intercepted. It's number 10 again. And uh, he's going to score. score. And that is Demetrius Charles II, who scores the touchdown from 30 yards out. We'll see here on the replay. Uh, Williamson's going to roll out to his right. He just throws the throw football over him. Yep, just That's throws it right to him. And uh, actually, it's going to be 35 yard return. He got it at the uh, 35. And so, Ray, that's the second defensive touchdown of the night, second pick six for the Razorbacks. And as I mentioned earlier, eight of ten ball games have either had a defensive or a special teams touchdown. So all in all, six touchdowns here for the Razorbacks, trying to make it a 42-3 game. Kick is good. 42-3, our new score. We'll be back after this. You can choose from a few Bibles at other stores, at other stores, or at the Baptist Bookstore. Choose from the largest selection of Bibles in the Arkla text. Largest selection in the Arkla text. From study Bibles, study Bibles large, print, large print, children, children teen, teen, and devotional, and Bibles. devotional Bibles. We have them all. Have them all. Plus, free engraving on every Bible purchased at the Baptist Bookstore. We have the answers you're looking for. What is the Eagle experience? Being involved on campus. I love connecting with all types of people. I play tennis for the Eagles. Um, you're not just a number, you're actually a person. In the mirror. I'm a part of the business club. I'm a first year experience mentor. You get to meet your professor, they get to know you personally. I'm Sarah Wilbanks, I'm from Atlanta, Texas, and I'm a senior at A&M Texarkana. I'm Shannon from Rockwall, Texas, I'm a senior. My name is Phil, I am from Lafayette, Louisiana. That is my Eagle experience. Kick down to the 23-yard line where number 10, Demetrius Charles II, again in on the tackle. They're calling his name a lot. Yeah, uh, he has made a number of tackles here tonight and uh, obviously a pick six here on the last offensive play there for uh, the Leopards. So Demetrius Charles a lot. We're called the Jordan Mask plenty tonight. He's got an interception return and two re receiving touchdowns. Trey Cleveland, uh, leading tackler for the Razorbacks, been on a number of tackles here already. Uh, A.C. Williams, the second leading tackler for uh, the Razorbacks been busy uh, as well. As we mentioned, the Razorbacks getting some uh, some younger guys in there, getting them ready for the playoffs here, uh, which is a wise move. You never know when you're going to need some of the backups. Uh, so Leopards go back to that fullback dive. Gets a couple of yards, and Joe, that's actually probably been their most consistent play. They've either gained nothing or two or three yards, and, and a lot of their other plays have been losing yardage. Adrian Mendoza, the ball carrier. Second down and eight. 
And I, you know, we don't have stats in front of us or anything like that, but I uh, venture to say that uh, with all the lost yardage that the Leopards have had in the first half, they're going to be well under 100 yards total offense in the first half. Oh, absolutely. And the football off. And uh, up to about the 32-yard line goes the ball carrier. On the tackle for the Razorbacks is Kalon Harrison. That was number 14, the ball carrier. Uh, Jorge Soto. So it'll be third down and five. This is actually a manageable uh, This is one of the few down. manageable third downs. And every time they've been in a third and long situation, it's been very bad yeah. for the Leopards. Yeah, they, and they've had a lot of those here in the first half. Williamson back to pass. Pass is going to be complete. And four first downs. Daly Nickerson who comes up with it. Is that the first first down of the game? It is the first one for, for the Leopards. Leopards. There's the, the replay. Just a little slant right here. Uh, and a, a well-thrown ball. And uh, Nickerson went up and got that football and held on to it. So the first first down of the, of the ball game. They may have had one off a of penalty. But they've not had one yeah. off of uh, off actually running the play. Uh, first first down for the Leopards comes with uh, three minutes here left in the first half. And in motion there is Logan Williamson. And the football off. This is number 24, Quinshawn Bennett, the ball carrier. He's up uh, five solid yards there, Joe. Uh, let's see here. A bunch of Razorbacks in on the play there. Not sure who all they were. But a lot of them in there. But uh, a very nice play there. Picked up about five. Down to two minutes and 17 seconds left in the first half. In high formation, look, Williamson under center. A little pass going to be complete to Beasley, a uh, tight end. And that is the kind of passes that they have got to do, Joe. Things that don't don't let the quarterback have time for the defensive rush to get to him. And two first downs in a row here for uh, the Leopards. And, and Ray, that's a good size tight end, as you see him on your picture yes. right there. 6'3", 280. Uh, 275. He was out of the game earlier with a lower leg injury, but he has managed to come back, and D. Queen definitely missed him while he was gone. That's true. Into Razorback territory. Williamson back to pass, going down the field. He's got a man there, that's and that's going to be fast all the time. The, the defender, defender actually pushed him out, pushed him out of bounds, but you can only do that in the first five yards. Yeah, Jorge Soto was the intended receiver. Uh, Shimon Smith on the coverage for the Razorbacks. Uh, and, and the other thing is, we'll see here on the replay, Ray. We'll see Smith. He's never going to get his head he's turned push around. Push him out right here. Yeah. And he never gets his head turned to look back for the football. And, and that's an easy call for the officials right there. What's always funny is how the defender will turn around and do his arms like, who, me? What? You know. So that's uh, the. Third first down in a row here for the Leopards, who who went um, 21 minutes without a first down here in the first half and gotten three in a row. So ball at the 32 of the Razorbacks with 1:41 left to play. Leopards still with three timeouts left here in the first half. Williamson back to pass. Pass is broken up. Almost picked. Let's see. That is Tory Blair. Flag down. Uh, roughing the passer. Okay. So that'll be four first downs in a row. Two by penalty. The Leopards, two by penalty. And this is going to put the ball down about the 17 yard line. We'll see the replay right here. Williamson gets it all. And we didn't see it, but it was it was very late, uh, the hit there. Uh, if you take more than one step after the quarterback has released the football, it is going to be a roughing the passer. Yeah, Joe, the, the only time you can hit him after he's thrown it, you have to have already, already been into you know, where there's no way you could have possibly stopped. 
All right, so first and 10 for the Leopards at the 17. And the football off to Mendoza. Going to get back. Well, let's say he maybe got a yard down to about the 16, looks like. So they're well within field goal range for Edward Garcia, but if you're the queen, you're down 42 to three. I don't think you're thinking about field goals at this point. I don't know, this late in the first half with all inside of one minute now, they may just uh, want to go in with some kind of uh, positive note. Williamson going back and uh, incomplete. Got a lot of pressure right there. Yeah, it didn't look like he could throw, step into the ball, and, and I don't even know if his arm got hit, but the ball came out almost end over end. Jefferson and uh, Charles back there applying the pressure. Uh, so third and nine there for uh, the Leopards, all at the 16-yard line. From this point, you're looking at a 33-yard field goal. For, and if you're thinking field goal for the Leopards, you cannot give up any yardage right here on any type of lost play or a sack. Uh, you know, uh, it may be best just handing it off and trying to get two or three, four more yards. Uh, Williamson is going to roll out to his right. Here comes the pressure. He gets rid of it. And throws it low. Incomplete, because that thing was going to be picked off. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to stop the clock with 46 seconds left in the half. Najah Taylor there on the coverage. And now we'll see if they're interested in a field goal or not. And uh, I know it would only be symbolic. Yeah. Don't, don't seem to be sending out the kicking unit. Yeah, you know, they do have three timeouts. They may talk about this, uh, then call a timeout with 40. Six and a half seconds left here in the first. I think that's what they're going to do. Probably just uh, they used a, they used a timeout when they were down here at the other end. Yeah, Joe. they still got three on the. Yeah, they don't have. They yet. do not have three timeouts. All right, the Leopards do take a timeout here. We we'll talk about it with 46 Time seconds left. Leopards. We'll be back right after this. In 2012, I introduced you to Reggie's Burgers, Dogs, and Fries. Since then, you have voted us best burger over a dozen times. Here's our new second location on State Line with a convenient drive-thru. And a private party room. Come see us at either location. More than just a bank, more than just a credit union, your home and your way of life is Red River. Red River Credit Union has continued to expand and set new standards over the last 75 years. Your life needs simplicity. We get it. That's why we're always developing products and services to get you the life you deserve. Quick, safe, secure. Red River Credit Union exists to serve you. Fourth and nine for the Leopards. Ball at the 16 of the Razorbacks. Look like the Leopards uh, have decided to go for it here on fourth down. Well, I got to think they tried to cook up some trickery there in the in the uh, huddle on the sidelines. Yeah. Uh, really, their best play has been penalty <laughs> against yeah. the Razorbacks. It's been their most effective uh, weapon in this drive. Carver in motion. And Carver back to pass, and Carver's going to lose a, lot a ton of, of yardage as Demetrius Charles the second. So it was, Not an, end, it was an end around pass. And so a loss of 13 yards on fourth down. And uh, Charles Beasley did. Uh, I'm sorry, that was just kind of an Ole block there by yeah. Beasley. And Charles, a great first step there, gets by Beasley and uh, gets the. Uh, the tackle. So the Razorback defense gets the stop and gets the football back. They'll say at the 27 yard line. So only a 10 yard loss there. I got to think, Ray, though, I, you know, as you mentioned, just be symbolic, but, you, you know, try to field goal. You know, uh, you're at the 16, be a 33 yarder. Uh, it's points. You know, at this point, you're down 42 to 3. It gives you it gives you a little something going into halftime positive, but uh, Razorbacks are just going to down the ball, and there are 36 seconds left as the clock runs. And if they reset it to 40, 
then uh, the Razorbacks won't even have to snap the ball again. Let's see. And now they start the 25 second clock, so the Razorbacks do not have to run another play. Let's see Coach Norton. Staff here. So the Razorbacks enjoy a very nice first half here at Razorback Stadium. Going into the halftime break up 40. Two to three. We'll take a break here. We'll be back for halftime activities after this. Without the right planning and guidance, long-term care such as skilled nursing, guardianship, and probate can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You didn't come this far to lose your home, life savings, and independence. The experienced attorneys at Ross and Schollmeyer can protect you and your family. From Medicaid, veterans' benefits for long-term care, wills, trusts, and powers of attorney, the elder law attorneys of Ross and Schollmeyer partner with you and help you leave a legacy that your family will cherish. Call Ross and Schollmeyer elder law attorneys or visit them at rossandschollmeyer.com today. Tommy, what are you doing? We've been playing this game called Fortnite probably for six hours. Do y'all have any wins yet? Not yet. It's awful hard. Kind of like how buying a car used to be. But not at Or Chevrolet, where our computers survey the market every hour and price ours less than the competition. So for a great no-hassle buying experience and a good deal, you get more at Or. Surf or Chevy. Dot com. Caught you looking. 
When Domino's is out for delivery, use Domino's new dinner bell to get the family home. Dom. Dom. Anyway. I gotta go. Ring the dinner bell and they'll come running for their mix and match favorites. Choose any two or more like bread twist, specialty chicken, pizza, or salads for only $5.99 each. KLFI TV would like to welcome you to the best in sight and sound in Texarkana Friday nights. This is the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana Halftime Show.
tonight, the band will play tribute to America's original music, Big Band Jazz. The next musical includes Jimmy Jonathan's caravan, Woody Herman's four brothers, and Louis Prima's six, six, six. In the past two weeks, the Razor Band, Razorback Band, has received straight ones of Richard Marching Contest. And in last Monday, the band uh, scored fifth place at the State Marching Contest. Congratulations, Razorback Band.
Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller Counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low-cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. The road to financial freedom is waiting for you at Millway Federal Credit Union. It's obvious why so many residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller counties are making Millway their financial institution. Millway strives to offer services at lower cost with attractive rates to ensure you, the member, earn more and save more every day. Reconnect with your money and feel good again. At Millway, it's your way. Locations in Ashdown and Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texarkana, Texas. Membership available to all residents of Bowie, Little River, and Miller County. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing. Linder. Back here at Razorback Stadium as we are getting set for second half action and here you see the halftime stats courtesy of the Texas Canyon Gazette and first down is pretty even Ray, where you see the big difference is obviously rushing minus three yards for the Leopards 98 for the Razorbacks 13 passing for the Leopards at 150. So you're looking at 248 yards to 10. That's right, Joe, and the rushing statistics there are even a little bit skewed. They've sacked that quarterback three or four times for eight and nine yards at a time, and that really uh, really does it. But if you also notice the turnovers, two interceptions here by the Leopards, uh, one interception by the Razorbacks, that was a deep pass where the quarterback was hit just as he released it. The only other significant difference 
is the penalty yards, and that is the only reason DeQueen was able to move the ball late in the, the first half. Eight penalties for 98 yards uh, against the Razorbacks. They've only punted once. Yeah, and, and two of those uh, penalties on that late drive by the Leopards accounted for 30 yards uh, against the, the Razorbacks right there. So three turnovers in the first half for the Leopards, only one for the Razorbacks. And, and when you look at that, obviously, you know, the score is pretty much out of hand, which it is, 42-3. to three. Uh, and uh, for fans uh, who may not uh, realize this uh, in Arkansas, uh, there's something called the mercy rule. And uh, when you get up 35 points uh, in the second half, they run the clock continuously. That's right. The only time it stops is for timeouts and for uh, changes of quarter. It doesn't stop on an incomplete pass. It doesn't stop when a runner goes out of bounds. So the second half will go fairly quickly with the clock continually running. Here the Razorbacks are coming out on the field and the Leopards will kick off here to start the second half. And, uh, you know, uh, Sean Forback had a great first half for the Razorbacks, had three touchdown passes. Uh, obviously, the Jordan Mask with a great first half, an interception for a touchdown to start the game off, two receiving uh, touchdowns. Uh, you had uh, Demetrius Charles, who picked off a pass for a touchdown for the defense. So two defensive scores for the Razorbacks in the first half. Uh, and uh, uh, and so the offense is rolling, and the defense is uh, obviously rolling as well. When you keep somebody to, down to 10 yards in the first half, you're doing very, very well. And, of course, uh, uh, number 91, the kicker for the Razorbacks, Cook, is also another hero. He has kicked that ball 13 times in the first half, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, Leopard set to kick it away. That is Edward Garcia. Kind of pooch kick it. It's going to be taken for the Razorbacks by Larry Jefferson. And a little, little confusion there. Jefferson did a good job catching the ball, but there was almost a collision between a couple of Razorbacks there. So the Razorbacks will get the football. Um, they'll mark it. Let's see. They mark it at the 33 yard line to start the second half and uh, expect Ray to see a lot of uh, younger players here for the Razorbacks in the second half. Yes, Joe, and, and one of the things that you would traditionally see when a team had a big lead was just trying to run the ball to eat up the clock. But with the running clock of the mercy rule, you don't get penalized for throwing an incomplete pass, so the Razorbacks have all options open to them. New quarterback in there is Graydon Martin. Going to complete the first pass to... Uh, Howard, Ray Howard Jr. Great Martin is a sophomore quarterback for the Razorbacks. It'll be uh, second down at five here. And we do have an injured player down, and, gonna, and they are going to stop the clock here. They will stop the clock for an injured player. Randy Velasquez down for the Leopards, that's the second uh, defensive lineman we've seen injured here in the first half for uh, the Leopards. They're going to uh, look like they're going to work on him for a little bit. So let's take a timeout here at Razorback Stadium. In 2012, I introduced you to Reggie's Burgers, Dogs, and Fries. Since then, you have voted us best burger over a dozen times. Here's our new second location on State Line with a convenient drive-thru. And a private party room. Come see us at either location. Back here at Razorback Stadium as they're going to get the injured Leopard up. Hope to see him back in the ball game. We saw Beasley come back earlier when he was injured. Hope to see Velasquez come back here. Grace Maxwell will be facing a second down and five. And I'm trying to look there at the field and see what we've got. I've got a, got a lot of um, 
numbers out there, Ray, that don't have names here on our roster, so we're just going to yep. be calling some numbers, folks. And so, uh, uh, sorry about that. That's but, all. Uh, <laughs> we we can only work with what we have, <laughs> Joe. Uh, one thing about it, we won't get the name wrong if we don't have. That it. is correct. Second down and five here for the Razorbacks. And the football off. And balls, balls on, on the ground. ground. And the Leopards have recovered. That's Daly Nickerson who comes up with the fumble recovery. And uh, see, so yeah, that's number 34, the ball carrier. And we don't have his name. But uh, he did cough it up there. So Razorback defense back out, and I think we've got a lot of substitutes on that defense too, Joe. I think you're right. So first and 10 here for the Leopards. Ball at the 40 of the Razorbacks. And the football off. That is number 42, Kate Martin, the ball carrier. Nice run straight ahead, Joe, and just a, a good power blocking scheme. And one of the Razorbacks shaking up there is Gante McElroy. And he's up and back, uh, back in position. So second down and two. That may be, that's one of the better offensive plays we've seen out of the Leopards here in the ball game. Eight yards there on first down. Same no playoff tackle, and he's going to turn the corner, get uh, the first down, Joe. And he's tackled over there by Demetrius Washington. Picks up seven yards. But uh, two carries and 15 yards for Cade Martin. Actually, that was, uh, yeah, that was Cade Martin, the ball carrier. So first and 10 to 25 for the Leopards. Isaiah Williamson has gone all the way at quarterback. This time, good gang tackling holds him to a two-yard gain. And on the bottom of that pile was Ikari Davis. Ikari Davis on the tackle. Pick up of a couple on the play, second down, Leopard. They'll give him a couple yards, so it'll be second down at eight here for the Leopards. Ball at the 23 of the Razorbacks. Nice run this time. Stays on his feet. And that is Alexis Luna, the running back. Going to pick up the first down at the 10-yard line. So we first and goal. Here we go, the A&M University of Texas Canada replay. Pretty well blocked and nice move here by Luna as he cuts it back and gets the grain there. Runs over a couple of would-be tacklers. Number 11, uh, Nijah Taylor for the Razorbacks. Uh, looks like he's twisted an ankle on that play. So as they attend to the uh, injured player, let's take a break. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. More than just a bank, more than just a credit union, your home and your way of life is Red River. Red River Credit Union has continued to expand and set new standards over the last 75 years. Your life needs simplicity. We get it. That's why we're always developing products and services to get you the life you deserve. Quick, safe, secure. Red River Credit Union exists to serve you. I introduced you to Reggie's Burgers, Dogs, and Fries. Since then, you have voted us Best Burger over a dozen times. Here's our new second location on State Line with a convenient drive-thru. And a private party room. Come see us at either location. Major Taylor, the injured Razorback, 
walking off under his own power. That's good to see. Hopefully he'll be back here later in the ball game. As you see the score there, 42 to three. Brought to you by Ross and Schulmeyer, Elder Law Attorneys, LLP. And uh, appreciate their sponsorship. All the other fine sponsors you've seen throughout the evening as well. No time. This nothing doing this time nope. for and that Luna. Is 32 in the backfield there. And Dante Willis. And excellent play there. The tackles him for a loss. Second goal here for the Leopards. That was the uh, the problem that the Leopards had, Ray. The first time they had the ball, first and goal inside the Razorback 10 yard line, is they lost yardage on the very first play and really just. You know, they got behind the chains and they couldn't make that up. Had to settle for the field goal. A little tall sweep here to oh, Luna. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Actually, it was a great tackle. Got him by the jersey, but the way his head snapped back for just a second, I thought we were seeing a face mask. Savory Green, the, ball, the uh, tackler on Luna. That'll be third and goal from the eight. Picked up about four there. It'd be interesting to see if the, if the Leopards don't get it here on um, third down, if they elect to kick a field goal. They didn't do it late in the first half. Williamson going to throw the ball. He throws it well behind, behind his, receiver. his receiver. That looked like uh, very much a miscommunication on what route. He threw to he threw to the pylon. Yeah, that was the receiver it. broke it in. Quarterback thought it was an out route. The receiver looked like he was running some kind of a slant. So definitely a miscommunication there. Uh, as uh, Shimon Smith on the coverage for the Razorback, it'll bring up a fourth down. Intended receiver was Matt Carver. Looks like they're going to go for it here. A fourth and goal from the eight for the Leopards. Beasley going to be in the tight end spot to the right of the formation, high formation. Williamson under center. Williamson back to pass, and pass is going to be incomplete, intended for Beasley at the goal line, and there's a flag down. There are a lot of Razorbacks in the area. Let's see who the flag is against. Personal foul, roughing the passer against the Razorback. Give him a first down. That's the second one of those that we've seen here in this ball game. And that's the thing, Ray, on those three-step drops like that where the quarterback is going to get rid of the ball quickly, if you're a defensive lineman, you have to be well aware of that, and, and yeah. you've got to try to pull up. Yeah, on a, on a three-step drop, the ball's almost certainly gone before you're going to get to him. But it's going to give a first down to the Leopards at the four-yard line, so first and goal. High formation look here. And the football off. He's going to go. Luna will get into the end zone for the Leopards' first touchdown of the night. And that comes with 3.35 to play here in the third quarter. Well, the Leopards back on the scoreboard here. Pretty nice drive that they put together. 40-yard drive. We'll see here that... Uh, all right, so no replay here. So get ready for the extra point. And that's Garcia on to attempt the extra point. Gage Woods, the holder. High snap, gonna bobble it and gonna be dropped by the Razorbacks. That's uh, Lewis Blackwell, the second. So extra point, no good. And uh, we'll take a break here with the Razorbacks leading 42 to 9. Without the right planning and guidance, long-term care such as skilled nursing, guardianship, and probate can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You didn't come this far to lose your home, life savings, and independence. The experienced attorneys at Ross and Schulmeyer can protect you and your family. From Medicaid, veterans' benefits for long-term care, wills, trusts, and powers of attorney, the elder law attorneys of Ross and Schulmeyer partner with you and help you leave a legacy that your family will cherish. Call Ross and Schulmeyer elder law attorneys or visit them at rossandschulmeyer.com today. 
I love it. That's the response you'll receive when giving a personalized gift from the Baptist Bookstore. Create a personal gift in minutes using the My Media Burn Bar and Artsy Olive personalized art signs. Let the friendly staff guide you through the easy process of creating a gift that will be cherished for a lifetime. The Baptist Bookstore also has the largest selection of Bibles in the Arklatex. Purchase a Bible and we'll personalize it with free engraving. The Baptist Bookstore, 4605 North State Line Avenue in Texarkana. 42 to 9, our new score. Great, we saw an onside kick in the first half. Do you think we we're going to see another one right here? Uh, I would say nah. It's pretty well executed, and they did recover. So, really, if you're down 42 to nine, you got a running clock. Well, you, you know why you know, not? You could you could recover it, drive down the field, and and score, and then line up and go for 37 <laughs> points. Could take the lead. Yeah. Garcia set to kick it away, and he will. Hit kind of a uh, pooch kick there, and a fair call at the 25-yard line by uh, number 30. I think it's number 30. Oh, is that number 80? Uh, 80. The Shannon Patterson. So the Razorback, let's call him the young offense, <laughs> is out on the field for the second second try here, and they'll be at the. 25 yard line. And Joe, there's really no substitution, no no substitute that you can give players to actual game experience, especially in an actual varsity game. Because uh, I'll tell you, uh, D Queen still got their starters out there. So these these younger Razorback players, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter as we count down five seconds here. But valuable experience here. Into the third quarter here from Razorback Stadium. We'll take a break and be back after these messages. Razorbacks ball through on 25 yard line. Braden Martin at quarterback going to be incomplete. A lot of pressure on him back there. The ball was, the ball was thrown just a little low. You see the score here with the Razorbacks leading 42 to 9. Matt Carver back there along with number 50, Kobe Cowley with the pressure. Notice that uh, there on the screen, you can subscribe on YouTube to KLFI TV Texarkana, where you can see Razorback football games. And Joe, those football games are available to anybody in the world. And you can go to Facebook, our Facebook page at KLFI TV Texarkana to see uh, the game and the game highlights as well. Got a uh, lineman down for the Razorbacks, looks like there. So let's take another break here. We'll be back right after this. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Bowie, Cass, Marion, or Miller counties, you can become a member of Domino Federal Credit Union. Need a low cost loan? Personal, auto, motorcycle, boat, RV, vacation, real estate. We take care of all your loan needs. Make your life easier. Join Domino Federal Credit Union today. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. I sold my dream house to buy my first Domino's store. I built my store with my bare hands. I use my college savings to buy my store. It means everything to me. But we've decided to tear them down. We love what we do, but not where we do it. 
Come and see our remodeled stores when you carry out large three-topping pizzas for $7.99 each every day. Edger Verger back, making his way off the field. That is Angel Morales. So second down and 10 after the incompletion for the Razorbacks. Martin awaits the snap. Here comes pressure. And uh, it's not, not going to go so well there. Not a good start to the play. And that Beasley was in there real quick, Joe. Donovan Neal, the ball carrier. Going to lose a lot of yardage there. So oh, we had this opportunity we were talking about going to see us on YouTube or Facebook page, KLFI TV, Texarkana. Game times uh, on cable channel 10 or off air antenna, channel 35, Saturday at 9 a.m., Sunday at 12 noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Also, another thing with all of our sponsors here, Texas A&M, Texarkana, Boston Schoemeyer Elder Law Attorneys, LLP, University of Arkansas, Hope, Texarkana, Baptist Bookstore, Domino Federal Credit Union, Domino's Pizza, Midway Federal Credit Union, or Chevrolet, Grand River Federal Credit Union, Reggie's Burgers, Dogs and Fries, and Robbins Toyota. I think we have a delay of the game against the Razorbacks. Razorbacks were shifting to an unbalanced line, Joe, and, and DeQueen really hadn't made an adjustment to it. They were set up for a really nice play. Also, uh, logo sponsors, BCS, Business Communication Systems, Chicken Express, Ludwell Machinery, Northern Hills Baptist Church, Paul's Pawn Shop, Southern Arkansas University of Magnolia, Texarkana Arkansas School District, Texarkana College. Big loss on the play here for the Razorbacks. And another injured Razorback there. Texarkana Independent School District, Tony Langford Roofie, Tri-State Technology Service, and Wadley Regional Medical Center. Go by this week, tell me you appreciate their sponsorship. So the Razorback, uh, injured Razorback is up. They'll have to get him off the field because uh, personnel came out to check on him. And uh, I think that's Harris, came on. Helen Harris. So it'll be fourth and a long ways for the Razorbacks. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 29 yards to go. Back deep for the Leopards will be Alexis Luna. Razorbacks going to get Larry Jefferson on here on the uh, punt team. Good snap. Get it away. And uh, going to bound at the 42. Luna's just going to get away from it as a uh, Drake Browning there with a, a nice punt. So the Leverage get it back here with uh, 831 left here in the ball game. There you see the Razorback band entertaining the crowd here. Did an outstanding job at uh, halftime with their uh, entertainment. back in, come all the way at quarterback for the Leopards. High formation look here. And the football off, that is Luna, the ball carrier. But number 40 for the Razorbacks is able to get in there, and that is, I don't have a 40, so uh, we'll just call it number 40. He makes a nice play there for nice the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks there. Second down and six here for the Leopards. You know, this is just, like you mentioned Ray earlier, you know, really you cannot simulate uh, a real ball game. So for these younger players to get in here, not only for 
you know, in case a starter goes down, but for next year, get some playing time in there is an outstanding right for them. Uh, and the Razorbacks also getting a chance to rest a lot of their guys here in the second half. As yeah, we well, get you ready don't want anybody to get hurt. So. Yeah, you're getting ready for first round action next week, and you don't want any type of a, an injury to you know, go down, you know, have one of your starters go down with one, uh, an injury here in a, in a ball game like this. And, and when you have the younger players, physically, maybe a little different, maybe they're a little bit smaller and all, but generally what it is, their reaction times are a little slower because they haven't seen it, so they have to process it a little more. The game hasn't slowed down for them yet. And, and that's why sometimes you'll see, since the Queen's starters are still out there, they start being able to run the ball a little bit. It's simply that the young players aren't reacting quite as quick and reacting and filling the hole. You know, they're, they're going in and making the tackle, but they're making the tackle after a four-yard gain instead of right at the line of scrimmage. Luna, the ball carry there again. Uh, picked up about four yards. And, you know, when we saw against the Razorback starters on defense, uh, the Leopards were having very short games, maybe one or two yards, had a lot of lost yardage plays oh, yeah. against that Razorback starter starting defense. Great job there by the Razorbacks. Big pile up there at the 32-yard line. And they, they were on the running back just right when he right when he hit the line. Keontae McElroy with the tackle. Might have picked up a little bit, but not a lot. Third and three here for the Leopards. Just about five minutes and 15 seconds left. Clock never continues to run here in the second half. Williamson under center, I formation. And the football off to Luna. Luna's going to get the first down, but there is a hold. Yes, sir. It's a little tough to see right now. Stadium's quite dark. <laughs> but, but it appears as if there was a hold there. Well, it's not really dark in the stadium. We, we've had uh, some technical difficulties. Our monitor's gone out. Oh, okay. So uh, we can still see the field, but just can't see any of our replays right now. There was a, a hole there. It was on the right side of the formation. Uh, Apparently it was in the backfield, too. Yeah. I think the defensive end for the Razorbacks had gotten up field and was going to make the tackle, but was not allowed to. It was cruelly, the hole. cruelly held. <laughs> so instead of the first down, it's third and 13 now for the Leopards. Williamson going to throw it well behind the intended again, receiver. Uh, again, absolute different page there for where the receiver is versus where the quarterback thinks he's going to be. Jonathan Boyne Rostro, the intended receiver, and Williamson, again, you know, just as you mentioned, Ray, this is not on the same page there. It almost looks like the quarterback thinks he's going to run a curl route and the receiver is running a slant and therefore he just keeps running and the ball goes well behind him. So fourth down here, 13 for the Leopards, ball to 41 of the Razorbacks. Luna the ball carrier, Luna is gonna be. There, yeah, they're gonna give him the first yeah, down. It's gonna have marking. And you know, Ray, one of the things, we, you know, we've seen the, the Leopards run the ball better here in the second half, obviously against the second and third teamers. But we we'll see here on the replay, Luna's gonna break a couple of tackles here, cuts it back, makes a nice move there, and really bulls his way there. They, they're gonna say, yeah, he didn't make it. I, I thought, Wow. Uh, when you look at that replay, I thought he, his knee hit down. Uh, the ball was just about a foot short of, of where uh, the uh, the line to get was right there, and, and the officials right on it. Got Great it right. job by the officials to get that uh, to get that mark. So the Razorback defense forces a turnover on downs, and now the Razorback uh, offense will come in and see if they can close out the game as we are approaching the two-minute mark. Every clock has. 
run here in the second half due to the Arkansas Activities Association mercy rule if your team is up 35 points in the second half. So we've had a very fast uh, second half. Great Martin back in there at quarterback. Hands it off. And this is number 30. Don't have a number 30 on our roster. But it was a very good play nice for run. number 30. Picked up a couple of yards. So second down and eight. Continues to run down to 110 to play here in the ball game. Really, the Razorback should be able to just run a play or two, Joe, and that should be the end of the game. Pass is incomplete. And we're now inside of 55 seconds. Razorbacks can take it down to about 14 seconds before they have to snap the ball and it's only second well I guess that's third down now yeah it's third down and 10 for the Razorbacks and Martin gonna be sacked ball comes out but Joe he was already yeah, down. He's well he was well down there Matt Carver gets the sack Clock continues to run, and the Razorbacks don't have to snap it again, Joe. No. They do not. And that is going to be the ball game right. here. Six seconds and counting down. So the Razorbacks were the dominant performance here tonight, Joe, from offense, defense. Uh, everybody got into the act. And uh, they close out the regular season with a bang as they just uh, manhandled. Clean Leopards. 42 to 9, our final score here at Razorback Stadium. A lot, what a lot of folks expected here with uh, when you had an 8 1 team coming in versus a 1 and 8 team. And Razorbacks really not looking ahead to their first round next week. They took care of business tonight, which is what you got to do. Uh, you can't overlook a team, even though you know they may have a poor record. And uh, so the Razorbacks are going to win uh, the uh, 5A South. Uh, conference here uh, with a 7 and 0 record, 9 and 1 on the season, uh, and uh, they will start first round playoff next week uh, against, I believe it's the West number four. Not sure who that's going to be right now. Right, they're, just they're awaiting the results of tonight's game. Still playing there, but uh, uh, the Razorbacks uh, are going to uh, roll into the playoffs as one of the top uh, four seeds. And uh, according to uh, uh, Coach Norton, I talked to him this afternoon, he said that uh, uh, they should be uh, at home here for, uh, if they continue to win, obviously, for, through the first three rounds of the playoffs. They win the first three rounds, they'll be going to War Memorial Stadium for the championship. And they're, uh, they're on the opposite side of Pulaski Academy, which is right now number one and one of the uh, premier 5A teams in the state of Arkansas. They've won four state championships in a row. So uh, obviously it's important that you finished first here uh, so that you could be on the opposite side of the bracket from the Bruins. Definitely, Joe, because uh, while the Razorbacks would love to have that matchup, uh, they obviously are going to have to take, bit, take care of business at least three times to do that. So next week will be the start of the playoffs. We're waiting to find out who that opponent's going to be. And the Razorbacks will be playing at home, as we mentioned here in the first round. They win that one. They'll be uh, obviously in the second round playing here and uh, in the semifinals would be here as well as they, if they continue to, to win. Uh, so that's a big advantage playing here at Razorback Stadium seven, instead of having to go on the road. Right now, number, uh, Harrison is number two uh, in uh, the state. Uh, and you wouldn't want to travel to Harrison uh, for, for sure. That's a long drive up there. So it would be an advantage for the Razorbacks to stay at home. Uh, and we want to congratulate Coach Barry Norton and his staff on an outstanding season, 9-1, and one, uh, and a, an outright conference championship here. Uh, and they, they clinch it against the Queen, 42-9 here at Razorback Stadium. So great job by the coaching staff, the players. Congratulations. It was senior night here. 
At Razorback Stadium, congratulations to all the seniors on, on a big conference championship here. And uh, good luck to the Razorbacks as they head into the first round next week. Well, Joe, they, yeah, it's, ahead, always, it's always fun to bring Texarkana football to our viewers. But, you know, we can't do it without all the volunteers. And there's a large crew of volunteers that uh, make this happen. And we can't thank the volunteers and our sponsors enough. And, and if you have watched this game or any of our games and enjoy it, make sure to tell the sponsors that you see in our advertising promotions how much you appreciate their sponsorship of Texarkana football. Yeah, I, obviously we got to have uh, uh, our sponsors that help us out there. We appreciate all those sponsors uh, go by. Mentioned to them that you saw Texas County football and how much you appreciated it. And uh, uh, and we certainly uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, remember, you can watch it again uh, uh, if you're watching it now at 9 a.m. on Saturday, Sunday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Cable Channel 10, Off Air Antenna Channel 35, YouTube or Facebook page KLFI TV. Texarkana. So for Joe Adams, Ray Angle, all the staff here at uh, Texarkana Football will say uh, good night. Thank you for joining us for this week's presentation of Texarkana Football on KLFI TV. This program was made possible by these local Texarkana area sponsors. BCS, Business Communication Systems, Big Cheese Pizza, Chicken Express, Domino Federal Credit Union, Domino's Pizza, Leadwell Machinery, Millway Federal Credit Union, Northern Hills Baptist Church or Chevrolet Paul's Pond Red River Federal Credit Union Reggie's Burgers Robbins Toyota Ross and Schulmeyer Elder Law Attorneys Southern Arkansas University. Texas A&M University, Texarkana. Texarkana, Arkansas School District. Texarkana College. Texarkana Independent School District. Tony Langford Roofing. Tri-State Technology Services. University of Arkansas Hope, Texarkana, and Wadley Regional Medical Center. Any rebroadcast, reproduction, or other use of this video and the accounts of this game without the express written consent of KLFI TV is prohibited.